еще один прилет. Короче, с кем позагри, это уже седьмой. Нет, еще не прошли. Охренеть. Славянск на Кубани, завод горит. Еще один, еще один. Где ПВО? Смотри, вот летит. Вот, вот, вот летит, видно его. Они летят, блин, со стороны Украины, а с нашей стороны куда-то летят, блин. Летит, летит где-то. Сука. Вот это сейчас добро въебет. Охуеть. Сейчас пиздец как въебет, а это огромный летит. Вот. Вот сейчас он даст. Ничего не работает, ничего, никакого ПВО не срабатывает. Да какой ПВО, братан? Смотри. Это же наши, с нашей стороны летят, они от хохлов летят. Хрен его знает, куда они летят, они могут залетать по другой стороне. Сейчас по кругу смотри, пойдет. Вот отстреливает его. И что они? Ма! Еще один туда же. Туда же. Охренеть, охренеть. Людей, конечно, тьма. Горит, горит, суки. Она в то шесть. К два горит. Она в то шесть. К два горит. Пиздец! Въебал! Секрет дрон атакинг рефайнери в Russian Ryazan There is not much information about this UAV. Russian media reported that the Ryazan oil refinery was attacked by a long-range kamikaze drone, the Lyuti, on the night of March the 13th. There is very little information about this drone. According to Defense Express, it is only known that the range of this drone is up to 1,000 kilometers and the weight of the warhead is 75 kilograms. Outwardly, it may resemble the Bayraktar TB2, but this is only at first glance because, judging by the size of the engine, the Liuti is much smaller. Earlier, Defense Express pointed out that this drone looks more like an intermediate version between Bayraktar TB2 and PD2 from the Yuka spec systems. 
This drone in particular was shown in November 2023. At that time, Deputy Minister of Strategic Industries Hanna Vodzdia showed a photo of this drone. Before that, the images were published by Ukro Boronprom. The Focus journalists say two inscriptions on them, Liuti 02, probably the name, and an inscription in Church Slavonic as Vozdam. The drone also shows the coat of arms of Ukraine stylized as a bird. Earlier, according to Defense Express, Liuti was probably spotted during an attack on an aircraft factory in Taganrog on March 9, 2024, and during a strike on a strategically important metallurgic plant in Lipetsk in late February 2024. On the night of March the 13th, drones attacked an oil refinery in Ryazan, Russia. Eyewitnesses reported a fire. There are also reports of injuries. It is worth noting that this is the second night in a row that drones have attacked facilities in Russia. On the night of March the 12th, drone flights were recorded in some regions. An oil depot and a refinery were hit. At the time, the Russian Defense Ministry reported that it had spotted 25 drones and allegedly prevented the attack.